lads, lads, lads and ladies, uh, my opinion on the double signing of both Derby fullbacks, uh, Max Lowe and Jaden Bogle. So, didn't know a lot about them, in all honesty. Um, I contacted a friend who's a Derby County fan and asked him what his, uh, his opinion on, on them two were. Um, they're both, apparently, really good at going forward, but struggle defensively. You eh, might just be saying that because he's losing his, uh, his two star fullbacks. Could this be a, a two Kyle scenario? Kind of like when we uh, we flogged the Kyles to Spurs. We could be getting a couple of little uh, hidden gems here. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if that was the case with Chris Wilder. You know what he's like. Um, but at the minute, I don't think it's a mind-blowing transfer. It's not one of them. It's more strength in depth and competition for places, um, which is, you know, we, we've got to have that. Um George played every minute last season and it could quite easily be easy for him to become a bit complacent sort of thing. So bringing in Bogle, who looks, from the YouTube videos I've seen, he looks a baller um, and good good at running with the ball. So it's all improving us. Um, I'm really happy. And obviously, I always trust Chris Wilder, you know, he... He don't, he's made a couple of mistakes, but nine times out of ten, he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? So, yeah, happy with the strength and depth, happy with the signings. Roll on next Monday. Up the blades. Chris Ward has done it again. Two fantastic signings, two exciting young talents. Max Lowe, what I know of him, uh, left back, anticipation is right up there. Really good with the ball to goal, needs to work on facing goal. He's very quick, uh, great first touch, excellent cross of the ball, can play anywhere across the left-hand side. So he could bomb further forward, which of course is ideal for us with the way we play with that left wing back. Can also play right wing back if needed. Doubt that's really going to happen, but uh, loves to play one twos. Good long shot on him as well. I think that the Max Low one is probably the one that's going under the radar of all the three a little bit, but I've heard from some Derby fans that this is the most exciting of the signings. Uh, Bogle, the guy that's getting a lot of the headlines, good stamina, good at dribbling, tremendous team player, works really hard, really good going forward. We're talking is it 17 assists and three goals in the last two seasons at Derby County alone. You know, not bad for a defender at all and gives George Bordock really strong competition. Brilliant signings. I'm absolutely over the moon with these. Matty Cash would have been a lot more cash and I think Bogle is going to be a far better defender. All right, Blaze fans. So it seems like Sheffield United transfers are a bit like the buses, nothing for a while, and then two come at once. So as we know, the news trickled through last night that we're double signing from Derby, and not even Dean Smith or Scott Parker could ruin it this time. Uh, uh, some news that we, some transfers we knew might be coming, but it was nice to see him confirm last night. Uh, first of all, Jaden Bogle. Over here, young guy, uh, fullback, uh, tricky feet, likes to take a man on and beat them, which is really good, something that we've been lacking for a while now. A player has the confidence to do that. Um, looks to be similar to Baldock in other ways, as I'm giving him some good competition. Um, he's going to have to be patient, though, to take Baldock's place. We know that Baldock played every minute of every game last season. Difficult to see him doing that again next season after the lot after we came back from lockdown. He's Bollock's form dropped a little bit. Also, very lucky, as we know, with bookings. Could have been sent off a couple of times. So, it'll be interesting to see if he repeats that next season. Bogle actually might get more chances than we think. Uh, he's a young player. Only 20. He's playing in the Championship a couple of times already. He's only going to get better. We're bringing the average age of our squad way down with these signings. Really exciting to see that Wilde is investing in youth in our team. Uh, Derby fans, very sad to see him go as well. Very interesting. We know some of our players, the, some of the clubs offered to drive them up to Ramal Lane, but a lot of fans seem to be very upset with Bogle going. So we have got a very good player, very exciting player on our hands there. Uh, the other full opposition on the left, we've got Max Lowe joining as well. He's one that we seem to know less about. Um, not too many views on, on him. The Derby fans don't seem to be too sad to see him go, which is interesting. Um, I really like this signing because I think it frees Osborne up to be the proper challenger for flex position now. Um, you don't have to worry about dropping out into left 
wing back. It's nice to know he can that position, but I think he's looking really good in left midfield. I think he'd be really good competition for Fleck. So it's nice that we've got more competition for Stevens now in that dedicated position. Um, quite similar to Stevens in his style of play from what I've seen, which I think will suit our system, as we know. And the two lads now just really need to, just need to study our system, um, get used to it and be ready to step in when they, when they can. Um, all in all, this deal is quite interesting. I think it seems very similar to the two Kyles, Walker and Norton, when they left a few years ago. Uh, very interesting. I think if it repeats itself, probably lows like the Walker in that scenario is sort of viewed at this minute as the weaker one, but actually look what happened to Kyle Walker. So very interesting to see how that one pans out. Other things to mention, so Lowe's already commented on how intense the training was. It's quite interesting, a bit of a, a bit of a swipe at Derby. Seems they, they do things a lot easier than we do. So it's yeah, exciting that he's already seen the intensity we've got up at Shycliffe. Um we've had the disappointment of losing out to the likes of Anthony Robinson and Matty Cash, but again, this is Wilder's plan. We're all living in a Chris Wilder world. Um Come up trumps with these signings, looks to be very good and actually not too disappointed now losing out on these players that, that seem to have gone for, yeah, first of all, ridiculous wages and second of all, ridiculous transfer fees. So another fantastic bit of business by Wild and Ill and, and others at the club. Uh, so well done to them. Um, and yeah, very excited for this. I hope these guys get the chance. I think they will. I can't see Stevens and Bolduck playing as much next season. Um, the way we play... I think players are going to get very fatigued as well. So even though I think this levels are very good, it's nice to have these guys can come in, young players, give us that cover, give us a challenge. And yeah, so excited about these signings. Come on, the Blades! Hi, guys. So after all the negativity of the online of no activity down at the lane, we've signed three players. Uh, great news. So we've signed Max Lowe, uh, Jaden Bogle and Ethan Ampadu. So... I've not seen much of Derby County uh, or the Welsh squad to be honest with you, so I'm going to review it from the point of view of, of the club. So first of all, we're going to look at their ages. Well, you go from 19 to 23. Um, Lowe and Bogle have got seven years on Baldock and Stevens, which is great news uh, because basically, you know, these guys are going to be here for five, six years and, you know, a, a long-term project for the club. So age-wise, Thumbs up from me, that's great news. Um, price, well, we all know that you know young English talent is massively overinflated cost-wise these days. And to get a couple of players uh, for effectively the same or less than the Matt Cash at Aston Villa, again, thumbs up from me, great bit of business for United. Uh, and finally, I guess, uh, attitude. We know how important attitude, attitude is for Wilder when he's selecting his players. Uh, Lampard said about Bogle that he was massively impressed the minute he met the young lad. Uh, I don't know enough about Lowe. Um, Ampadu was called up for the national squad when he was 16 years old uh, and he's been involved for the past two or three years. There's got to be something there. Um, you know, last season, the, the, the bedrock of our, our successful season was, was the, the back line uh, and we didn't have many injuries. We've now got that security we've got. We've got backup. Ampadu can play in midfield. We don't know what's going to happen with Lundstrom. So generally, Blades, um, yeah, great news. Uh, good bit of business. I am really delighted with this Ethan Ampadu signing. He is right-footed, but really he's both-footed. He's someone I've seen play for Wales in defensive midfield and play at centre-back. Tremendous ability on the ball. One thing that really stood out to me about him is how brave he is. That seems to be one of his key attributes. Uh, good on the ball, clean tackler, fantastic positional sense. Because he can fill a number of roles and he can use both feet, he's so versatile and that's really going to come in handy if we get any injuries across the back line. And worst case scenario, could even occupy a midfield position. I think that's probably unlikely, but good to have that option in there. And uh, yeah, really, really good signing. Absolutely delighted. Didn't see it coming. Brilliant. Well done, Wilder. All right, Blaze fans. So last night, completing a busy day for Sheffield United in the transfer window, our triple signings day, finished off with the signing of Ethan Ampadu from Chelsea. Quite an unexpected signing, didn't see this one coming. Like a lot of Blaze fans, I've been refreshing my Twitter all day, looking for news of signings, and then something came up, this blurry picture from like a drone of, of looking down at Bramall Lane pitch and seeing this guy stood there who appeared to be Ethan Ampadu. 
an elite photo, which hopefully didn't come from the club, came from the player's agent or somewhere. I hope so, otherwise Wilder's going to be fuming again. And then very quickly it was announced uh, officially that he had signed on a season-long loan from Chelsea. Uh, Welsh international. Nice to hear that Wilder's saying about our good relationship with Chelsea um, and how that might bear fruit again in future. That's very interesting to see. Hopefully, though, very soon they'll become a rival of ours and maybe they won't want to loan us their players. We shall see. Another young player, very exciting. Again, bringing the age down of the squad. Nice investment in the youth. Chelsea fans absolutely gutted to see him go. Um, looking at the stuff on Twitter, a lot of um, fans wanted him to stay and challenge for places. Um, that was very interesting. Um, he seems to be used mostly as a centre-back or a centre defensive midfielder. And it seems even the Chelsea fans couldn't agree on where his best position is. Um, he seems to have played in both positions for club and country, which is nice. Another versatile player. Hopefully he'll, he'll settle into a position there and make it his own. Um, seems to be very good with a long pass. Quite nice. Um, not, 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 maybe not as good as uh, Norwood's pings, but some certainly a good array of long passes. Likes to tackle as well. Something that all Blades fans love. Uh, Hopefully we'll get to see him in action and see a crunching tackle flying and cheer him on. Um, it feels a bit like the Red Sox signing to me again, this one, though. It's, it's a player who's come in, a um, really good young player. Um, looks like he's, I imagine he's going to tr- probably challenge for Bash in his position. Um, so good luck to him for our, trying to um, usurp our player of the season. But of course, being that utility player, he could also slot in uh, centre defensive midfield for Norwood or Berger, depending on where they're playing, again, how much they play. Um, we know Norwood got subbed occasionally last season, as did Bash, actually. Uh, Berger's got a little a knock at the minute from international due to Norway, so we'll see how long that keeps him out of action for. So again, we just see how many minutes uh, he gets. Um, I think as well with the, the triple day of signings, it's going to be very interesting to see what our bench looks like next season. Um, probably very different to what we thought earlier in the transfer window. Um, see how many of those, those slots are going to be probably filled with the three signings from yesterday and then who else um, barring injuries if, I'm guessing if we're going to settle with the traditional 11 we normally start with it'll be interesting to see who's on that bench but again fantastic bit of business by the club didn't see this coming really excited for this um, of the three signings yesterday this one seems the one that the fans are most gutted about the player leaving and, and most excited about um, from the um, people at uh, Blaze Analytics and others who have done their, their homework on them. It seems to be a very, very good signing for all, everyone all around. So, yeah, hopefully we're back in that stadium soon. We'll get to see him in action. And, yeah, look forward to see who the other two signings of the five that Wilder's talks about will be. Hopefully get another video out, video out to you soon talking about who they are. So, yeah, all good stuff. Well done, the Blades. And let's keep on trucking. Where to start? Uh, last few days, just been a bit of a mental one, really, hasn't it? Um, so you got Max and Jaden, um, you know, coming from Derby, um, undisclosed fee uh, for the pair of them, both at the right age, both really good length contracts. So they're obviously, you know, seen as the future of the club. Um, you know, first two names on on my team sheet last year would probably have been Ender and, and Georgia Baldock, but I mean, they're going to have to up the game this year if they want to stay in the team. Um, I've seen videos of some of the stuff that Max does and it's just scary. Um, you know, the thought of seeing them two bombing down Saturday afternoon, Bramall Lane, Full House. Uh, it's going to give you a chubby on that, isn't it? Um, obviously, Ethan's coming as well from Chelsea. Um, I, I think it's a really good signing. Um, I think the kids got a lot of potential. Uh, he's been a part of Wales' national setup for the last few years. They obviously really rate him. I know Frank Lampard really rates him. And I know a lot of Chelsea fans that really, really rate him as well. Um, I've heard some Blades fans saying um, that if he was any good, he'd be in Chelsea's first team. Um, just remind those Blades fans of Dean Anderson and how good he's been for the last two years. and. You know, he didn't turn out too badly, did he? So, I think uh, I think Ethan's going to be one of those. I think he'll uh, I think he'll take his chance if he's given it. Uh, and then, obviously, just just released that uh, Oli Burke is signed. Um, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because uh, 
you know, Robbo's gone the other way. We've got Ollie Burke on loan. Um, I think we've probably recuperated our cost back on what we bought um, Robbo for. Um, I do feel a bit sorry for him. You know, he, he did always try, but I mean, when he was given a chance, he didn't really do it for us. Um, and at this point, I think we've just got to trust Chrissy. Um, I think he's earned that right. And I don't think any Blades fan's got the right to, to question um, his decisions at this point. Um, you know, I think if if, if uh, Chrissy doesn't think that Robbo's good enough, then uh, I'm fine with that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, really exciting time. Um, you know, four players there that are all at the right age, all coming to the club for the right reason. Um, it's just a world away from, from what we've, we've been used to previously. So um can't wait to get back down to that lane and, and, and see everyone in action or uh, you know, see him on sky. So, you know, exciting times. Everyone take care. Look at that ping from Norwood. Makes other teams look no good. Yeah. We've got a team full of leaders. Alan Hill, Chris Wilder, taught us. Right. Yeah, the results on the tour bus. Yeah. No count when it goes, Billy scored us. It's beautiful downtown Bromelain. We are the boys from Shoreham.